your ex uh, expert interpretation of these results and their potential implications for the sequencing strategy of other treatment options, for example, immunotherapy? I think we've come a long way in the treatment of metastatic triple negative breast cancer. If you think back 10 years ago, uh, the, 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 the outcome of patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer was still quite poor. We have changed that significantly. The, there are a number of factors that contribute to this. Parbid inhibitors are a small factor. I think more substantial factors are immune therapy uh, and antibody drug contributors, and they will play an, an, an even increasing role. Obviously, I've have, have provided great benefit, but so far, only in a small subgroup of patients with, with German BRCA1, BRCA2 mutations, where I think it's really that we really have seen strong data in the phase three trials in terms of progression-free survival. Uh, and that was in the first, second, or third line sitting. And, and there is a concern that immune therapy works best in the first line setting, but may lose some of its activity in the second and third line setting, possibly because of an increasingly immune suppressive environment in the cancer, but also of increasing exhaustion of them, some of those immune cells. So to shorten my, my answer, is if you want to give immune therapy, you need to give it as early as possible uh, because you have a survival benefit, but you may lose activity in a second or third line setting.